Hi everyone, it's Allison here and welcome to another Make It Monday. Um, I know I have been very uh, inconsistent with my Make It Mondays, which is not my plan. Um, but um, anyways, moving on. Um, with uh, Valentine's Day coming up, I, we wanted to sort of feature a bunch of Valentine's projects um, on our uh, stores Instagram and so this is what is inspiring my Make It Monday today. We're gonna make a Valentine's Day layout and I kind of wanted to you show you how you can use papers that are not necessarily um, a Valentine's Day themed to make a Valentine's layout and we have um, Vicki Booten's print shop in store and so I went in today and picked up a few of the items. Um, we have the 12 by 12 paper pad and we have her 12 by 12 um, mixed media pad that goes along with the print shop. Um, I didn't buy that one yet. Um, it's on my wish list, but I thought I would give you a quick flip through this one. And as we go, I will pull out um, items that I want to use. So um, cut apart. Yes, please. Okay. Back side of that is this textured green. Got some florals with a purple tone on tone polka dot. We got all these circles. She has a fantastic stamp set that is um, all circles that you can kind of layer together. Also on my wish list, but I didn't pick it up today. Um, so that, there's that pattern. And then there's this sort of golden yellow grid pattern. We've got this lovely stripe. And then blue tone on tone floral. Got these stars, and it's got kind of an aqua-y greenish grid pattern. Text, that's gorgeous. Let me move this down so you can see it. Check that out. I love all the, the detail and layers and stuff she gets. And we have a heart print, so I am gonna pull that out because we are making a Valentine's Day layout, so that seems appropriate. And then on the back is this sort of, kind of a zebra stripe. We'll call it a zebra stripe. A big light pink polka dots on the yellow, and then this stripe on the back, which I'm gonna pull out as well. It's got all these colors in it. This collection is not predominantly red, um, where my photo has a lot of red in it, uh, but there are papers that have red, so I'm, I'm trying to pull those out. Um, this floral print on craft, another blue tone on tone pattern, another circular pattern, this geometric salmon y color on the back. This is kind of a fun, like you could use that as a background. It's already been divided into basically, is that one third, two thirds ish? Um, so yeah, it's kind of a fun pattern. And then black on white, black and white sort of shell, scallopy, and then flowers, it's peachy flowers. Another one of these that's kind of a pre-made background for you. Honeycomb, green dots. I heard Chamel Ling call this a Brussels sprout paper. Now I can't not see Brussels sprouts. Uh, scissors, a ledger print glasses, blue flowers, black and white, this camera print, which is coming out. It's like a dark gray black background with the cameras on it. And then the back of that is a green wood grain, black and white hexagon patterns, another green wood grain. And then we get into a bunch of solids before we do the repeat. So we got this blue, I mean, I say solid, but they have texture, so, um, blue and then we got this peachy pinky salmony wood grain green the blue wood grain purple another blue wood grain dark blue and then that chartreuse again so just a quick flip it's a dark blue wood grain and then that light one again and then we do the repeats Okay, so that's the paper pad. Oh, sorry, all my Nuvo drops are flying all over the place. I also picked up, I'm just gonna move this to one side. <clears throat> I also picked up the sticker book, which is actually sort of 
with individual sheets. So I'm actually going to pull these right out of the packaging. I find that I can see things better if I remove them out of the packaging. So we're going to do that with all of my stickers and cut aparts. That way I can see what I have and show them to you. Uh, I'm sure the light is catching that gold foil. Okay, so we got labels and some accent pieces. Dots with gold foil and some gold foil brush strokes and ink splats. So if you don't have any gold mist, you can use stickers. Uh, more labels and tags. Some words and word strips, again with the gold foil sort of ink splots on them, and then these fun little safety pin flags, a whole lot of words, which will probably come into play today. Um, more images and words, and then some black and white. These are fun. Okay. So those are the stickers. I'm gonna get a little container and we can put the ephemera in. I got both packets of ephemera. I think I actually got the last packet of the floral ephemera. So sorry guys, but if you would like us to get more, just let us know and we'll see if we can order some in. So we got lots of flowers. I don't think I'm gonna put flowers on my layout today, but things like that, snapshots, that says today. I'll just take out this center so that you can actually see that. There we go. That's a little better. There's another one. Yeah, there is. I might, I might leave that one out. Lots of flowers. Leaves I can probably put in. Mm, not sure about that. I'm going to leave out these words. Oh more sort of branches, leaves. Let's do the little ones. Lots of flowers. More branches and leaves. I don't know if these are all gonna come into play, but um, oh, I love all these flowers. That says enjoy. I don't think that's gonna work for my layout today. Um, oh, what else do we have? Good, good times. Another branch. Love days like this. Some more branches and leaves. We're just gonna leave those out. And then this one is the journaling ephemera. <clears throat> Little banners. Some of these might work. Oh, hey, I love this. Butterfly, little journaling box. So it's a picture frame and then also a snail. <laughs> this here, hello, another snail, a bird, good vibes only. More birds, this day, butterflies, one, two, three, go. Actually, that might, that might be appropriate. Um, it's like, oh, what are they called, bowl clips? So this uh, print shop has a lot of journaling icons, like, like office-y type icons, like those bowl clips and ink and glasses. Create. It's a red frame. That could work. That's also because it's got red around it. I could use it for journaling. I'm just going to separate those, make it easier to go into my container here. Uh, that's also good for journaling. A circular frame. I don't think I need to keep that inside bit. Paint swatches. Uh, these are interesting. So tags, but with the centers cut out. Nice big camera. 
We'll leave it out, but because I want to use the camera paper, I don't think I will need the big camera. These are there's a whole lot of um, phrases here that you can then cut apart. Measuring tape, scissors, paper clips, another one of those, bunting, ah, sure, fountain pen, a pencil, and a big and sign. Okay, that's a whole lot of things that I've pulled out. <laughs> they definitely all will not make it on the layout. Um, so this is, uh, it's a Valentine's Day layout, and um, when I was going through my photos from Valentine's Day last year, I had this one <laughs> that was taken at my dog's daycare, and then I had one of the, the uh, chocolate cheesecake that I made. <laughs> that was it. I had no other Valentine's Day photos, so yeah, I know, that's sad, right? Do I want to just use that one as my background? Just go hearts, hearts, whole hog. I think so. Now, the white frame on my picture does work because I got white in the background. It's not like an off white, it's, it's pretty white, white. I think I just want to use a strip of that. So let's see what we can mat this in. What's on the back? Nope. Actually, that's not too bad. I don't think it's getting too Christmassy either. What's on the back of this one? Mm, no. Because it does kind of work with the little <laughs> roses. Uh, yeah. My, I, my, I love my dog's daycare. They're awesome. Yeah, I think I will do that. Okay. So I'm going to cut off the branding strip. Or not the branding strip, but the the um, the top of the paper where it was attached into the, the uh, pad there. And you could keep these because you can definitely. Hmm, interesting. This is not 12 inches when I take this off. Okay, so I am going to need background paper. Hmm, that's a little annoying. What about black? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go with black and then I'm going to take off. Um, here, let me move these out of the way so you can see this a little clearer. So my black is 12 by 12. Theoretically, this should be 12 by 12, but once I trimmed off that um, top bit, it's not. So it was about a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna take off a quarter of an inch off one side of my heart paper. And that should give me a square. Hmm. Okay, so that's gonna go down centered in my black cardstock. Um, so then my, my black is just acting like a frame. And that's my trick um, to make sure that I, I get things centered without having to move things around because the tape I use is really strong, is that um, I will just take off one strip and then center the other, the bottom bit as best I can. Um, and then press down that one strip and then I can take off the other pieces and I know that my paper is centered. Okay, so because I've got that, that kind of changes my idea for how to um, do the rest of it. I am going to mat this guy. strip of these cameras. So now the 
question is, do I want the cameras to be long ways or... Yeah, I think I want them. I think I want them width-wise. So I'm going to cut my mat for my photo. There's my photo mat. And then I'm just going to flip this over. And I'm okay with that being a half a camera. Um, and then I'll just cut it so that I've got partial camera. I'm gonna see what that width is. So I want it to be about three inches. Yeah, okay, perfect. And then I get partial camera at the top, partial camera at the bottom. Perfect. All right. And then, because that can go there, I need my stripey pattern behind. And I want it I think I want the stripes to go this way and sort of mimic that long strip that I have across there. So then it's a matter of, and I'm going to hack this paper up because I kind of want that, that red, the red bit. Okay, so let's figure out this, where do we want this to stop and start. So I'm just, as I lay the paper on my trimmer, I'm using my photo to kind of tell me where I want the paper to begin and end. And then, and then I can still use my photo just to measure where I want my cuts made of a cheat because I don't actually measure things with like a ruler and I don't uh, plan my pages to be specific measurements or anything like that planning my pages I mean I don't plan my pages anyways my pages just come together <laughs> they just do okay this one. So I'm not going to tape anything down just yet, but I do have the adhesive there so that I can do it when I'm ready. So I kind of want it to be like that. Now let's pick something to write with. Um, or write on, not write with, write on. Kind of like that one. The live in wonder doesn't work for me, but I want that red. So I have to cover up the live in wonder or tuck it in behind a photo or something. And I just dropped my scissors on the floor. So if I plan to do that, I can have an embellishment there. So let's see, out of, <laughs> out of all the things that I pulled out. So the camera, it's gonna be too big. So I'm just gonna get rid of that right off the bat. Uh, we could have some bunting. It is a party after all. I don't think, yeah, that's just gonna get lost on the background. So I'm gonna move that away. And sign, I'll keep that out for now. I want to bring in as much red as I can. So I'm going to cut out this one that says this. This is not necessarily where it's going to live, but I just thought I would see what it looks like up here. It's kind of cute. Any of these? <laughs> 
Okay, this one, and it's red, says, I am here for the good times. Uh, that is totally my dog. So we are going to cut that one out, find a place to use that. Any of the others that would work. Embrace your uniqueness, just you and me, something to be thankful for. Grow free wildflower. It's the weekend, baby. Awesome photo. Everyday magic. Good morning, sunshine. Yeah, I know it's blue, but I kind of like this awesome photo one. So let's cut it out, have it handy. Let me put these other ones away. And I've already got a journaling space, so I probably don't need any of those, but I will keep that one out. I don't think I need that frame. Okay, and then I pulled out all these, like, leaves and things, thinking that maybe I could bring in some leaves, some greenery. It does love to be outside. Maybe the black one. Then that covers up a lot of my actual journaling space. So that's not ideal. No, you know what? I'm not loving these leaves. I am going to... This was an idea, but I don't think it's going to work after all. One, two, three, go. Nope. This is going to be too big. Awesome. Could add a P. Could be possum. Um, the today is also going to be too big. So that's getting. Oh, hey. Awesome snapshots. Okay. Um oh, and I've got my stickers, that's right. a small camera I could bring that in somewhere okay I am going to just take a little pause and try and find um, some letter stickers not super convinced on that little bunting. It's not bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like the idea of turning this into possum. And then maybe having Valentine underneath. Okay, I'm going to find some letter stickers. Okay, I think these will work. Okay, so let's start sticking some of this stuff down. First, we're gonna put this down. And then hopefully this layout will come together quickly. I'm just leaving that right where it was because I kind of like it. And then I'm gonna tuck that in. Um, I think I 
do need something else there. So let's just see. I could use that. Just the banner piece, not the floral bit. do possum valentine yeah okay that'll work let's make that happen uh, i'm gonna put valentine on there first just so i can get the spacing right and i think i might start from the end uh, and spell it backwards, which probably means I'll spell it wrong. And I'm pretty sure I checked that I have all the letters I need, but you never know, right? And I'm not going to call it Tines, I'm just going to say Valentine. Is it strange that your dog is your Valentine? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> or maybe not. Who knows? Val in. I need another in. And these are just from my stash. Um, I think they are, well, I know they are simple stories. Um, they're several years old. Valentine. Okay, and let's find my tape. I am. Uh, I go back and forth between this, the Be Creative double-sided tape and um, the tape runner. Because uh, I like both, but they both do different things. So I like the, the tape runner as, now can I move this is the question. Um, the tape runner is, is better for things that are like uh, not so bulky, like the photographs and then um, the little pieces of cardstock and that kind of thing. Um, whereas the double-sided tape holds everything like, like nobody's business. So. And then you got stuff like that. Need some dimension. And I'm actually thinking I might pop that up now that I've moved it twice. Yeah, I think I will. Just it needs to be lifted so that it um, relates better to that puffy P. Now I gotta find my um, pop dots. There we go. That's better. And then I think I might pop these up too. Yeah. All right. 
it. So I do have these little um, bunting pieces. It could be kind of fun now that I've glued this all down, but it could be kind of fun. Hmm. Actually, no, I'm going to leave those for another day. Okay. See, this is what I do as things come together as the layout starts to come together I figure out what's working and what's not working Gonna decide if I want a little bit of the background paper to show underneath, which then means that I got a little bit of the top of that tag showing, which I'm not super in love with. Could put it somewhere else, but I think, or maybe I just, ooh, actually, yeah. Don't think I need that either. Let's see about these. This one says my love. Is that just super cheese? Yeah, you know what? I just can't even. I <laughs> just can't. Okay. Um, don't need any of those labels. think any of these are really appropriate. Should we bring in some gold splashes? Why not? He's a dirty dog. So I'm looking at the diagonal, trying to um, bring things onto the diagonal. And I'll probably bring in some enamel dots, but these are sort of acting like enamel dots a little bit. Move that one over. Okay, and then is there anything on here that I need? I've got little hearts, little gold hearts, so that could work as well. And uh, these guys. This one says made me chuckle. That definitely needs to be on there somewhere. Is this made me chuckle? Let's get my journaling in.
just simple. I mean, it's just my dog. I don't need to say a whole ton about my dog. Okay, some enamel dots and or jewels. I do have a whole lot of... Ooh, actually, I'm gonna use some little gems, but I think these black pearls are what this layout is calling for. It'll just accent all the little bits of black that I've used. That'll be amazing. Get off my finger. Now, a trick that I like to do um, when I think I'm getting close, especially when I'm when it's it's laying flat and I can't necessarily um, see it sort of correctly, I lift it up and I look at it and I think, is there anything, any place that needs something? And I think I need some more of these guys up here. Let's just add a few. Another little trio. Oops. Come here. Okay, and that's where I'm going to call it done. So there we go. Valentine layout that is uh, non-traditional. I mean, yes, uh, we've got full-on hearts in the background, um, but it's not pink and red. There is definitely pink and red in there, but there's a whole lot of other colors, and um, the rest of my items are not Valentine's themed, um, but I think we've managed to make this into a Valentine's Day layout. So um, thank you for joining me, and if you're interested in any of these items, um, check them out in the store. I'll leave links in the um, description box below. And we will see you again next time. Bye.